There is a debate in the scientific world on whether we have free will or not. This can seem odd to anyone outside the scientific community, because to an ordinary person it is obvious that we have free will to create our own future in the form of art or poetry. Free will can only be understood if we can explain the process that forms the uncertainty and probability of our everyday life. I am on the World Wide Web promoting my theory, an artist's theory, on the physics of time as a physical process. In this theory we have free will because we are part of a universal interactive process. This is formed by the wave-particle duality of light. We create new light photon oscillations relative to our position and momentum, or in other words, relative to our actions. I believe this is what we are seeing when we see an artist at work. We are seeing new light photons coming into existence relative to the actions of the artist. The outward momentum of light forms the arrow of time for each individual reference frame for each individual person or object. We are seeing the future unfolding light photon by light photon within that reference frame forming the uncertainty of everyday life. If our eyes were more sensitive to the light we would be able to see that everything is radiating light waves continuously forming a great dance of creation. We have free will because the wave-particle duality of light forms an interactive process forming a blank canvas that the individual can interact with, turning the possible into the actual from the center of their own reference frame. Because the photon is also the carrier of the electromagnetic force, this process forms the electrical potential that in this theory is linked to our own future potential. This gives us an objective understanding of electromagnetism. We have to do work by putting energy into something to create the electrical potential and by doing so we create our own future within that reference frame. This makes sense because in this theory consciousness in the form of electrical activity in the brain is the most advanced part of this universal process. Therefore we can comprehend this process from the center of our own reference frame with a future that is always uncertain forming the probabilities and opportunities that are needed for free will to exist. It is my belief that we see and feel this process of continuous change or what I like to call continuous creation as the flow of time itself. A person with a scientific background might say that time is formed by the continuous disorganization of entropy explained in the second law of thermodynamics. But what they can't tell you is where the organization comes from for the continuous disorganization of statistical entropy. In this theory, the organization for the continuous disorganization of entropy is formed by the spherical symmetry of each new photon-electron coupling. Time symmetry does not begin billions of years ago with a big bang because time is unfolding here and now photon by photon, with organization in the form of spherical symmetry forming and breaking. Therefore photon energy cascades down, creating greater degrees of freedom for the disorganization of statistical entropy. This universal process also forms a freedom for free will for the creative process of art and poetry. In my other videos I explain this theory in greater detail using diagrams and mathematics, explaining how this process is formed by the quantum wave particle function or probability function of quantum mechanics and how Heisenberg's uncertainty principle is the same uncertainty we have with any future event. Please subscribe and rate. It will help in the promotion of this revolutionary theory that changes our understanding of our universe and our place within it.